Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest and we are playing Above Snakes. Uh, I've never played this game before so um, this is completely blind for me. I haven't watched anything about it, I haven't seen anyone else play it. So I'm just going to be discovering the game. Um, so let's get into it. Adventure mode or exploration mode? Adventure mode. Experience the stories of above snakes as intended. New biomes unlock with linear story pro story progression. Exploration mode for seasoned explorers. You choose the order of the stories in which biome uh, and which biome to unlock next. All biomes and blueprints are available from the start. Um, why don't we just go adventure mode for now? You can grow your own crops in garden plots at your home. Okay. The conflict between the settlers and the first people was at its peak. The drums of war echoed across the land like a never-ending thunder. While war raged on, a love blossomed from the fields of hate. Ayana, who had eventually grown into her own, chose to travel the lands and learn for herself the histories of her lineage. With a heavy heart, her mother stayed behind in a town called Corpse Creek. On one fateful evening in Corpse Creek, the midnight skies were interrupted by a light of brilliant green. The awe of such an event quickly dissolved into horror as a flurry of stones of flame descended upon the town. Most folks fell victim to the debris and smoke that consumed the land, though the survivors quickly discovered that the bodies did not remain still for long. Oh dear. That night, Ayana had stayed in the lumberjack settlement, far away from her beloved mother. Okay, <sighs> so are we playing as Ayana? Okay, we are keyboard and mouse. Okay, whoa, what was that? <laughs> Ayana, are you awake? Can I ah grab the backpack? Okay, what's that F? Nice. So your backpack. Tab to open your backpack. You can access your backpack at any time. You can manage your inventory, craft items, and view your current quests. Note that some of some items require a special crafting station nearby to be craftable. Okay, so tab for our backpack. Let's see. Oh yeah, great. Oh, and then we've got other things. Crafting. Upgrades. Ayana. And then a quest log. Hmm, mysterious fragments. Okay, I don't know. Alright. Beautiful. We've got no monies. Alright, so... Can I just click on things? No. Oh, I can inspect that. Hunter's Rest, 1874. That's very beautiful. I wonder if that's where we are. Alright, let's see. Oh, warm my hands. Okay. Oh, a book. Folks can read, that can read might pay a decent price for it. Lovely, we'll get that. And coin. Used as a currency for buying and selling. Alright. Let's inspect this bed. It was really cramped in here with everyone sleeping in this one room last night. Okay. I wonder what happens in the other bed if it says the same thing. Oh, at least it's warm and dry here. This is perhaps the only place now in Hunter's Rest where that is the case. Alrighty, let's go out the door. Ooh. Okay, warning for flashing lights. 
Okay, Q, rotate the camera to the left, E, rotate the camera to the right. Sometimes things can be hard to see from a certain angle. You can zoom and rotate the camera with the right analog stick of your keyboard and the scroll wheel. Or your keyboard and the scroll wheel, sorry. Okay, lovely. Jeez, well somebody's dead. Well that doesn't look good. Can we zoom? Oh, we can. Let's go to this gentleman or, I don't know, person over here? Joanne. Oh, my, my. Okay. What are we to do? The horror that came over us. Oh my gosh, ask if she's okay. Ask her how you can help. I'll ask her if she's okay. I know, but first things first, are you okay? I'm not hurt, so I guess I'm okay. It's just her voice cracks. My house, my beautiful house, it's in shambles. And the whole town, oh, look at me, bawling my eyes out about my house while all those people lost their lives. This whole thing is such a mess. All right, ask how I, she can, I can help. Is there anything I can do to help? What? So Joanne wipes the tears from her eyes. Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins, so we can use all the help we can get. We would need logs to rebuild. Even though we have that sawmill over there, I doubt where, uh, whether we have enough logs to rebuild these houses. Uh, ask her what she saw last night. Ask her if she has an axe. Ask her where she's from. Why would I ask her where she's from? That's a very strange the whole house shook last night. Did you go outside and see anything? When I felt a rumble, I jumped out of bed and ran outside. I saw the skies crack open and suddenly these winds came hailing down. That's when I ran in the stayed, trying to find shelter. Huh, okay, I'll ask her if she's got an axe. I've been searching for my axe, but I can't find it among the ruins. I do have this flint though. If you tie it to a strong branch, perhaps you can craft yourself a primitive axe. I also have these hard antlers for you, which may be useful. There should be plenty of materials around here to craft some primitive tools. Okay. Helping out. It looks like these people need my help. I need an axe to help chop down some trees, but Joanne only gives me a flint. Let's see what's around here to craft a primitive axe. Okay, so I have to gather branches from pine trees, then open my backpack and craft a primitive axe. Okie dokie. So, can I do anything with the green stuff? No. All right, let's go to a tree, search the pine trees. Oh, I got a branch. Okay, so. Let's see, crafting primitive axe. Beautiful. Okay, so, oh, equipment, I see. So equip is F, assign is one. Um, let's try F to equip it. Okay, so. Gathering lumber. With the primitive axe, I can take down trees to get lumber. Okay. Does the option just come up automatically? No. So do I have to press 1 for my axe? Is that... Uh, hello? Is that what I do? Aha! Got you. Alright. Oh, axe increases to 2 and 3. Nice! Alright, let's go. Oh, there's my logs. Oh gosh, gathering rocks. Rocks are another useful resource for building. I can make a primitive pickaxe and smash some rocks around here. So I have to craft a pickaxe and gather rocks. Alright, what are these planks twinkling for? Aha, that was a branch. Okay, so how do I craft a pickaxe? Primitive pickaxe. I need a hard antler. Oh, lucky I've got one of those. And one lumber. Let's do it. 
Okay, so. I've equipped that. That's in slot two. Got you. Beautiful. Do I have to hold it down? No. Okay, so I have to do it in front of the object. Alright, great. I'm getting a critical hit on the rock. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. Let's sheath the tool because I don't want Joanne to think I'm some weirdo. Alright, time to get started, what do you say? What do you mean, time to get started? I've been working. The sawmill was only set up uh, to saw lumber, plus it's unusable in its current state anyway. So we'll have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. Okay. But first, oh my, how can I forget? Before we can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. Okay. I think we should maybe try to clear some bodies too. <laughs> my mind really is mush these days. If you craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down my old ruined house to free up some space. And later, you can adjust the house if you need to. Alright. Wrecking Squad. If I craft a hammer, I can adjust my building to tear down Joanne's old house. Okay, get plant fibers, craft a hammer, take down Joanne's old house. Okie dokie, plant fibers, probably on this fern looking thing? No? Do I just slap it? Nope, nope. Okay, what about the axe? Can I can I cut the plant fibers while I'm doing some damage? Oh, I can. Oh, lumber. Oh, I see. Okay. So craft a hammer. How do how do I do that again? Craft Okay, a hammer. I need two I've got two of three plant fibers, so I need one more. There was... Aha, here we go. If I cut this plant. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's come through here. She looks kind of funny when she runs. Okay. So let's craft the hammer. Beautiful. What's this? A workbench? <gasps> oh, I wonder if I could just, let's just craft that now. I mean, I'm going to have to anyway, right? Oh, adjusting structures with the hammer. Use the hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or ones you built yourself. You will get back some of the resources. Okay, that sounds good. Um, take down Joanne's old house. All right, we probably need a th the three for my building hammer. Is this the old house? Yes take down okay so we've got some room now oh I've just noticed I've got health etc food sanity fatigue yeah right okay a workbench um, okay so I need to make a workbench all right let's set up the workbench um, how do I do that Number four. All right, where should I put this? Um, probably next to the existent house. Is that, I would say that's probably the best idea. Let's just put it right in here. There we go. The workbench. Okay, F to interact with the workbench. With your workbench, you can craft building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources and both useful and decorative furniture. Upgrading a workbench enables additional crafting recipes, but requires certain materials. Okay. I cleaned up the mess that the meteorites cre created. Time to build a new home for Joanne. There is more lumber at the old sawmill. Craft at least four foundations at the workbench. All right, let's try this first. Okay, how do I make foundations? Doo -doo -doo, foundation. Alright, so I need one pieces of lumber. Okay, how do I craft F? Beautiful. Oh, and there is an option to craft multiple. I see. Okay. Is there a sprint? Yeah, there is. 
Okay, gotta chop down this tree, I guess. Hello? I don't want to search it. I want to chop it. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'll get used to it. There we go. Alright. Uh, what is it? F to shed the tool. Okay. So, log foundation. So, craft multiple. I use... Aha! There we go. Use the scroll wheel. Build a new home with walls and roofs. Okay. Oh, do I now need to do that too? Where was my quest? Here. Oops. Okay. Um, build a new home with walls and roofs. Okay. Do I just... Um, I'm going to guess that I have to put the foundations down first. So let's find, oh, there's a branch there. <laughs> let's find Joanne's old building plot. Okay, let's go one. Oh, shelter and perks. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter it provides. The more shelter it provides, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. Okay. Two, three, four. Uh huh. Um. All right. Let's see. What else do I need at the workbench? A log wall. So they all need lumber. Okay. Well, I guess I just have to cut these trees down. All right. Got my work cut out for me. Um. Is that? On the inside or the outside? You don't, you know what I mean? It just sort of looks a little bit, hmm, it just looked a little bit outsidey, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, all right, let's cut this tree down. What if we look from this side? Yeah, okay, that might be a little easier. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we don't take any damage from the falling tree. That's good to know. Some branches that have fallen down out of the tree. That's probably useful. There we go. We'll do this one. And I'm going to guess we probably need lumber. Oh, that broke up that stone. That's awesome. I'm guessing we probably need lumber for the window, uh, sorry, for the roof, so I'm going to chop this one down as well. Ooh, did that? No, okay. Oh, but now, oh no, I still got the branch even though it was on the roof. That's funny. Um, okay, so do I need to be at the workbench? Yeah, I do, at the workstation. No, workbench, sorry. Well, I'll definitely need a door. Uh, a log window. Do I need to build... So the door includes the frame? Yeah, let's let's just make sure. Let's just... There we go. Yep. Makes sense. Alright, now we need a few... Should we do some windows? Let's do like two windows. It looks nice. Um, and let's do two more walls. Um, I think I might need a couple more of the walls. Let's do window at the front. Beautiful. Uh, let's just do one at the back too. All right. And the walls, walls. Okay, two more walls and then four pieces of roof, I guess, if it's just a flat roof. I'm not exactly sure. So let's go two and then craft. Okay. Oh no. How do I? Oops. Let's place this one here because that's correct. But I want to remove this wall. Hmm. How can I do that? Or have we now just got a wall? What if a. Ah. Oh, okay. The hammer. 
Perfecto. Tear that down and exit hammer mode. Did that just kind of uh, get rid of that uh, wall? It looks like it did. All right, go back and we'll do another wall. Oh, where's my bench gun? There it is. There we are. Okay, we'd best find some new trees. Excuse me, coming through. Watch out, dead body. Honestly. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we should have got into that house, actually, that's right next to us. Maybe I'll do that. Because we're right at the edge of the map there. Let's go inside and see. Hello, can you go inside? Oh, I probably need to open. No, no. I thought maybe it didn't like it because... Oh, look at that. Steal someone's money. Yep. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Alright, let's pick up this lumber. What about this pile? No? Okay, I don't know if we need that lumber just yet. So let's just leave that there. And look at Joanne, man. She's standing there. She could, she could help. <laughs> She's just standing in the rain. Alright. this work log flat roof you got to keep the rain and the weather out a flat wooden roof will do um let's do that so i need four of those oh i need plenty um let's get the Beautiful. Okay, um, I should have actually checked so I could calculate how many I needed, but that's okay. Beautiful, alright. Let's do this. Hold on, Joanne. We're working as fast as we can. <laughs> All right, the flat roof. So three, four. Oh, we have enough. That's awesome. Beautiful. So that goes into number four. Perfect. Oh my God. Why does it look like that? Uh, like that, I guess. This is the ugliest house ever. No? Yes? I don't know. Oh dear me, that is that is a terrible, terrible <laughs> little house. <laughs> okay, Joanne, what do you think? Wow, look at that home. Great work, Ayana. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's something else that requires our immediate attention, though. I just realized that the person lying over there is still breathing. Oh my god, I was walking on her. <laughs> oh my gosh, I... Oh, that's so rude of me. <laughs> I inhaled the smoke of the meteorites last night and fainted. Some debris seemed to, um, ha later some debris seemed to have wounded him. Um, when I found him this morning, I checked on him and I was certain he was not breathing anymore. Oh, well, that was wrong. <laughs> but do you know what to do? Well, I don't know, CPR or something, I guess. Um, tell her that you know how to help. Tell her that you never provided medical care. Um, let's say I know how to help. Why not? I know what to do. Bandages will stop the bleeding. Right, we need to get some bandages. Maybe... That was incredibly rude of me. Oops, let's go up the stairs. Yep. Okay. So, yep, people like those. They'll pay good money. Oh, God. There's a man in. Hello, good sir. Wait, let's go this way. Huh. 
Hunter's hmm. first resident. Hey, there you are. How did you sleep? Telling me set fire. Well, well, I'm guessing seeing as what happened probably was the second one. I couldn't stop turning either. Eyes. And that horrible rumbling in the sky. And have you seen this place? It's ruined. It used to be so cozy in here. Um, with everyone... With everyone... What? Oh, just with everyone. Alright, so... Is that him? Is that it from hmm. him? Yeah, it must be. Okay, can I exit? Okay, I can exit the dialogue. That's good. So, what else? Can I take those plates? They look fancy. <laughs> they look fancy, but not going to help at all. Oh, such a barrel. Oh, what's this? A deck of cards to play poker. Or, or would you rather build a house of cards? Could be sold at merchant. Oh, nice. It's worth five money. That's good. Another clothes? Oh, bandage. Here we go. All right, we want to take that one. Let's search the barrel while we're here. Old candle holder. This old candle holder is past its prime. Okay. But the merchants will still get it. Same with the oil lamp and a skull. Oh gosh. Somebody might pay a decent price for this. Oof. Okay. If you say so. Old candle holder. Was it just on the ground? Okay. Alright, not that way. Let's go. Okay, bye bye friend. What was his name? Just Hunter's resident. Hunter's rest resident. Bye friend. Here we go. Heal wounded person. One bandage. Oh my god, they're bleeding. Well, oopsie. I mean, I was... I walked on you. Here we go. Oh my god, he looks like a zombie. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I think it is a zombie. <laughs> he turned into one of those things. Oh no. Be careful. They're extremely aggressive. Why the fuck did I bandage him then? <laughs> Okay, space. Oh my god, I'm. I am gonna die. Space to perform a dodge roll. It's very strange because space for me is jump. Okay, performing a dodge roll will help you do you during fights. These lands are full of dangers, especially at night time, uh, such as wildlife or the lost souls that are roaming around since the plague. Ooh, yuck! There's a plague. All right, so. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's where my fatigue comes from. So heal the wounded person. I've done that. Joanne. Excuse me, Joanne. Am I meant to kill this guy or like what am I supposed to do? Let's go. Am I? My objective is still <laughs> kill, like heal the blue wounded man. But I don't know. Oh yes, we got him. Oh, yes, loot his body. Ew, a rotten tooth. A new blueprint. Pr blueprint. <laughs> Lost soul necklace one. Return to Joanne. Oh, I'm recovering health as I go. That's good. Wait, let's just have a little look at this blueprint. Um, where is it? Why can I make a decorative plant? I don't feel like that's imperative. Ooh, a lost soul necklace. Okie doke. Alright. What you got for me, Joanne? <laughs> that poor guy. I think the people who inhaled the smoke of the meteorites are turning into these monstrosities. It's so horrible. You look pale. Are you okay? Tell her that you're okay. Tell her that you could be better. I think I could be better, given the situation. <laughs> I can imagine that maybe you should uh, get something to eat we should have some food around here the surroundings of Hunter's Rest always have berry bushes aplenty as well why don't you use this map and search for some berries to snack okay she hands over the map that's good
Each piece has its own biome and contains various resources. Some world pieces are unique while others can appear multiple times. Okie dokie. Um, where should we, why don't we just put them here? Alright, so C. Planes. Yep, let's do it here. Yeah, I think that's good. Ooh, beautiful. Let's go and get some berries. What's this? This looks like flowers and huckleberries. Okay, scouting. To create more world pieces, you need to scout your surroundings first. Your scanning progress is shown in the bottom of the screen. Note that you can stack up to, uh, sorry, note that you can stack up scouting to three world pieces, but scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold. Okay, so they want you to, they want you to put the pieces down. All right. Do I want to collect all of these? Uh, I'll collect as much as I can. All right, so what? Do, so press five, and I'll eat those berries. Let's see what happens to our hunger. Oh, what happened? Well, it's still day one, but it's gone to maybe midday. Let's eat some more of this. Oh, it's giving me thirst points as well. That's pretty good. Okay, if I could do multiple of those at a time, that would be quite handy. Let's find some more. Oh, yep. Uh, oh god, I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> I'm stuck on a rock. There we go. And I guess we may as well collect these berries, but also investigate the map. And it looks like investigating the map is going up every time... Scouting, sorry. Is going up every time I, um, I collect these berries, so that's quite good. Oh, I can hold down F. I don't have to keep re-clicking it. That's quite handy. Oh, great. So I can put a new world piece down. Okay, I'm not going to because... Um, hmm. Let's go to, let's go to Joanne. Back to Joanne. Just in case she has something else she wants me to do. Oh, no, she's left me. Of course she has. <laughs> okay, Joanne's letter. Ayana, I am deeply sorry. I had to leave all of a sudden. The Frontier sent a carriage to pick up survivors. The least I can do is to leave the cabin to you. You built it after all. Oh gosh, if I knew it was for me, I would have done it a little bit bigger. Oh well. <laughs> they said the plague began spreading from Corpse Creek. Oh, that's a nice name. <laughs> they reported meteorites falling down there too. Horrible. Some people survived, but most of them fled. If you can talk to them, maybe they will bring some light into the dark. Sincerely, Joanne. Well, I mean, look, I was just picking berries, Joanne. You could have hollered at me and been like, oi, come along. <laughs> All right. So, survivors of Corpse Creek. There must be people who survived the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard uh, that there is a camp nearby. To get more information... About what happened, I need to see if there are any survivors. Okay, so I need to find the survivors camp. Okay. Make it your own. Hunter's Rest is left behind by all of the survivors. The remaining houses offer valuable resources for survival. Use the hammer to take down the remaining two buildings to make the place your own. Okay. So take down the old sawmill and take down the small house. Okay. Well, is the man still in here? I just want to check. Hello, good sir? Are you still here? Oh, no, you're gone. <laughs> okay. He decided to peace out. Okay. Well, um... Oh, look. We've got a map. Where's the camp? So do we, like, add a new piece and then the camp may or may not be there? Is that... Is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, let's try it. Let's put let's put another world's piece here. Oh, planes. You know what? Why wouldn't we put the planes together? I feel like that's a little bit... That makes a little bit more sense. Let's put the planes here. 
Yeah. Okay. So, but I don't necessarily know that the camp is there or not yet. All right. Well, I think, you know what? I've I've had quite a good time exploring above snakes. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. And then when we come back, we can try to find the survivor's camp. We're going to take down the old sawmill and the small house. We're going to make uh, Hunter's Rest our own. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. This is Smocks from Celebrant Quest. And I'll see you in the next episode of Above Snakes. Bye-bye.